Welcome to the Pioneer Sideline. I'm your host, Aaron Cooney. Episode 144, our season finale here on the Pioneer Sideline. And a lot of things going down here. AMC, softball, getting into things. And we got to apologize for last week. There's a bit of a change up in the schedule after Fisher dropped out of the tournament. So basically everything we told you last week ended up being incorrect. So Point Park, their first game was not Thursday night. It was on Friday. They were taking on the winner of the Harlo or Houghton and Carlo matchup in softball there. Houghton would end up losing the game to Carlo, so Point Park taking on Carlo would get a victory for the Pioneers, 7-3 to three in their first game of the tournament, and that would send Carlo into the loser's bracket for another matchup against Houghton. The winner of that game would take on Point Park and move on to the AMC Championship Field, and that's where we pick it up with our highlights. Point Park taking on Carlo for the AMC title. Point Park only needing one win to eliminate Carlo. It was a double elimination tournament. So if Point Park gets the win, they would go on, be AMC title champions in the tournament, and then move on into the NAIA opening round here. So let's take you to the highlights, see if Point Park could pull that off here. This is a game on Sunday afternoon. They moved it to get away from the rain here as we open up the championship series. Point Park, things just rolling right now. You got your ace on the hill, Kelsey Robertson making a nice K, uh, catch there. Somehow slipping out of the catcher Guffey's hands, and Robertson comes up with it. She had her mojo working pitching-wise as well as Taylor Syke, or Circo goes down swinging. And all you know, all you really needed was just a little bit of offense. And they get that right here. The run support. Ashley Moran going yard deep into the playground there. As you see in left field, Point Park up early in the bottom of the third. 2 nothing. But nothing, you know, leads can change so quickly. And you'll see that here from Point Park. They ran into trouble here in the top of the fifth. Shelby Rogers with an RBI single. Going to bring on Kamok. She will score. Still on top of the fifth. Robertson, a bit of a jam with the bases loaded again. This time it's Sevcic with the RBI. Gets the ball past Source. Carlo now leads 3-2. to two. Still top five. Blonsky, she takes one. It gets through the infield. Brings home one more run. It's off the RBI. 4-2. Carlo leads. But Pioneer bats, they got to answer back. But they just could not. They were asleep here. Source looking. Guffy looking. Megan Pritz on the mound. Just doing things by herself. And she's also going to pitch in. Help out her own cause with the RBI double there. Brings on two more runs. Point Park gets eight run here in the first game of the championship series. They lose 10-2, and that will force a second game for the championship and the AMC tournament. Let's go ahead and bring in Kelly Reed, our analyst here for Point Park softball. And Kelly, really, the Pioneers were not at their best at all in that first effort. Oh no, the first game, you know, you saw them coming out strong and their hitting was strong, their game was on, but with the second game, it was like, what happened to you girls, you know? Honestly, what I believe happened was the airs, the, once Carlo got their bats together and kept going and going, it's almost hard to come back from that, and that big of a lead, it's really hard, it's really difficult for them And it's too. tough, it, game ended in six innings with the eight run roll. So the Pioneers, they dropped that one. They would play one more. This one, now we're playing for all the marbles here. The second game of the afternoon yesterday on Sunday afternoon, Point Park, Carlo. You know, Point Park, they were undefeated against Carlo all throughout the season until that last matchup. The winner here going to the NAI uh, National Tournament. Point Park needing to get a victory, looking to come out strong. But here, as you see, already in the jam, they open up the top of the first. Kate Reese on the mound, and things are not going well. Sarah Sevzik. Deep to center field, the grand slam, part of a five-run top of the first here for Carlo. They're up 5 nothing. Point Park, though, looking to get back. And you know what? Turn on the Benny Hill theme for this one because this is just crazy. Can't get the play at first. So they bring it to third, gets past the third baseman. Moran's going to run all the way back. She's going to score another overthrow at home. Guess who's coming in the third? Here comes Guffey. Ball gets away from there. Guffey, who led the inning off or had that hit, now comes in from home to score on one of the craziest plays you may ever see in softball. Down bottom of the second, Point Park still trailing by two. Olivia Source taking one deep to left field. Off the fence, it's a stand up triple for her, and that will also give the Pioneers a 6-5 lead. Now, head to the top of the six. Carlo needs one more run to tie. They lay down the bunt. The ball cannot get to Teresa Davis at home in time. Tie game, top seven now. Carlo looking to add some more runs. Kate Reese cannot field that ball cleanly, then throws it away. Two runs will score. That makes it 8-6 in the top of the seventh. That's the last inning. Point Park desperately needs to get some runs here. And they'll start it off. One to tie. Here's Ashley Moran. Gets it through to the outfield. It's an RBI single. And then another wacky play in an error-filled game. Both teams not playing well. Teresa Davis will ground out. The ball goes that way. But the first baseman unsure where to go as both runners. They have runners on the corners of the Pioneers. Not sure where to throw to go. 
gets away from the player. Amanda Ardinger ends up scoring. Now, bases loaded again here in the top of the 10th, and Point Park just couldn't get away from it. Robertson was in to relieve uh, the pitcher, Reese. She ended up walking in a run. A run scores there off of that RBI or that sacrifice fly. Now, bottom 10, Point Park desperately needs to come back. Two outs. Our, our bring in, Source will bring in one more runner. Hughes will score. Last batter here for the Pioneers with two outs. But Amanda Arninger cannot extend the game. It ends that way 10 to 9 in 10 innings. Source 3 for 5, 2 RBIs. Sevsik 2 for 5 with that huge grand slam in the top of the fifth. And, and Kelly, again, you saw some of the errors, but this is for both teams. And, and neither team looked good and mm -hmm. maybe didn't deserve a spot at all. But Carlo's moving on. Point Park's going home. Yeah, that's what sucks. These girls, you know, played well all season against this team. And to come back and in that second game and be ahead like that and be able to get that many runs off the start and then have Carlo just come back after all those airs. Both teams didn't play well, so it's not a good testament to see how these girls will face in other teams in the and, future. And we see missed opportunities here for the Pioneers as they mm -hmm. had multiple times to get out of jams uh, or, or had runners in scoring position, just couldn't capitalize there. And now you're going to lose some key seniors and it also... Second year in a row that they lose in the AMC championship here. Last year they lost to Notre Dame. And it's going to, how can they move forward from this looking into next year after two years of disappointment? You know, they are losing key seniors, but I definitely think that some of the girls that were turning from next year, like Sarah Guffey, Teresa Davis, many of the pitchers that um, were becoming the core of this team now are coming back. And Ardinger, you know, coming into her senior year. So it's definitely going to have a good core. What needs to happen, though, is more depth in the batting, I think, um, and being able to keep those leads when they're needed. Do you see any problems with pitching? Can, can that continue? You will have Robertson for one more year, mm -hmm. but the rest is all freshmen. Can they step up and fill that void? Oh, the arms only get stronger. Um, coming as a former pit pitcher, um, your arm only gets stronger, and having condition throughout the season and then in the off season, which these girls will continue to do, I think their arms will get better being at the college level. Well, we will see. That does it for Pioneer softball. Now we'll do it for Kelly Reed on her final ep or appearance here on the Pioneer sideline. Kelly, thanks as always all year long for soccer and yeah. softball analysis. That's going to do it for this block. When we come back, we have a special guest here joining us in the house. Scott Brown from the Trib, where the Steelers beat reporter is going to join us. We're going to talk a little bit about the NFL draft and how well the Steelers really made out there back on draft day on Friday and Saturday. So stick around. We'll be right back.